Marshall for Lessons.io and today we're going to look at a very very old classic song called Girl from Ipanema. Stan Getz made this one very popular of course and every time you work in an elevator or right up and down in one you hear this song right? Very very famous everybody knows it. We're going to play it in the key of F and here are the chords you're going to need. Better get a pencil because some of these chords are kind of uh, difficult, but we'll get it, don't worry. The first chord is an F major 7, okay? Now you can play it any way you want, but down here in the neck works well, okay? You can play it up here if you want to, you can... but here works fine, okay? This is an F major 7. The next chord is a G7. The next chord is a G minor, so just make that a minor. And now we want a G flat 7. G flat 7. And then back to the starting chord, which is the F major 7. And that's the first verse. Now in between that and the next verse, we're going to put a G flat 7. Sort of like a, a turnaround chord, okay? So the first verse. F major 7, G7, G minor 7, G flat 7, and back to that F major 7. Now, hit that G flat 7 there because that's going to lead us into the next verse, which has got the same chord structure. So, let's look at the verses, the first two verses here. Um, the strumming is important because this is a song that is uh, got a Latin flavor to it. So you can do it in a variety of ways, but doing it this way. Works well. Notice I'm emphasizing the bass notes, okay? that the strumming part of it here, I'm emphasizing the center stroke. Okay, you can count the downs and ups if you want, but I prefer to do it by a feel. Notice the, the bass note, the dominant part of that strumming. And in between, you've got that, that part, too. Now, an alternative way of doing it would be the standard rumba. Like. However, this song is more of a samba than it is a rumba. So... rhythm throughout the song changes very rarely. So, let's look at the strumming as I go through the first verse. chord, which is that G flat 7, which just gives us a little bit of a hiccup in the chord structure so that it tells the ear that we're going back into the next verse. Okay, so uh, mind the strumming and watch how, what I do with the chords. It's F major 7. G7. G minor 7. Flat seven, F major seven, G flat seven. Now, da, da, da. now we're to the second verse. Okay, same chord structure that we just did. When we get to the uh, chorus or the bridge, I guess this is. We're just going to go from here. This is our last. This is our F major seven. That's the last chord in the verse. 
Now to go to the bridge, we're going to go just one half step up. This is a G flat major seven. So we went from the F major seven to the G flat major seven. Okay. Oh, but I want you so sadly. This is a C flat nine. C flat nine. Yes, guys, these are all jazz chords. They sound really good too. Okay, so we started out with our G flat major seven. But I want you so sad. G flat nine. Now we're going to an F sharp minor seven. Okay, from that C flat nine, we go to an F sharp major seven. Okay, so the first three chords again. But I want you so sadly as a C flat F sharp now. How can I tell her I love her? Now this is a D9. Okay, so the first four chords are G flat major seven, C flat nine, F sharp minor seven to D9. First four chords. Now the next sequence. Now we're going to go to a G minor seven. Then we're going to go to an E flat nine. Then we're going to go to an A minor seven. Then we're going to go to that D nine, and then G minor seven to C seven. Notice what happens, we went up and we came back down. So if it was G flat major seven, C flat nine, now they have sharp minor. D9, now G minor seven. if you want to do the uh, beginning of the song again. It's a short song, so you might want to do it a couple of times through. So here we are at the end, but not me. And then, okay, so that C7 led us into that our starting chord, which was F major 7. So, let's do the second verse and the bridge so that we can hear the transition, okay? This is the... Uh, she walks, she's like the sun, but it's way so cool, it's way so gentle, and when she passes, each one she passes, well, ah, here it comes now, keep it flat. as you like. When we want to end the song, here's a good way to end it, okay? When we get to the, um, the bridge, you recall that we ended up, we went from the D9, okay, uh, to the G minor 7, to the C7. Now instead of going back into the beginning, because we're on that C7, what we can do is go to the G minor, G flat. Da, 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 da. So notice what we did there. We went from the end of the bridge with that C7 chord. 
normally if we're going to continue the song, we would go to the F major 7, just starting out again. However, when we're going to end the song, you know, up to that C7, at the end of the bridge, we're going to put two other chords in there, the G minor 7, G flat 7, and now we play the uh, F major 7. So the F major 7 is only delayed by those two chords, this one and this one. Okay, and if you're playing the G minor here, that's fine, it's the same thing as this. This is a G minor 7, and that's a G minor 7. Okay? Whichever is more comfortable for you. And then, so our ending, that's G flat 7. F major 7. So we started with an F major 7 and we ended with an F major 7. It's very, very nicely done. Okay, It's a little bit out of the way for most of the uh, tunes, but that's what makes it interesting too. Okay, now the uh, to reiterate, that's if I can even say that, the strumming is very important. We want to get that Latin flavor. bass notes on every chord if you can. That gives us a nice uh, flavor going through the sound, okay? And it's good for dancers too. If you're doing a cha-cha to this or a rumba or uh, any kind of Latin dance, you want to hear that nice bass line running through the chords. Okay, hope that does it for it, us. And uh, if there's any question, let us know uh, by comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Very important to do that. And any comments will be answered as quickly as I get to them, and we'll answer any questions for you. I'm Doc Marshall. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.